Okay, so Project X Cloud is out of beta and now part of the Game Pass app where you can stream over a hundred games to your phone. But is it any good? And how does it compare to the current mobile gaming king? Let's talk about it. So I got a setup here that I gotta admit I'm pretty proud of. I can plug in and capture gameplay straight from the game. Um, which I will do, but first I want to I want you to see what I'm seeing when it's captured from the phone it, You know, it, it, it's not the exact same experience as being able to see the controller input and stuff like that So here's the Witcher the Witcher 3 um, And right now I am playing this game Through Project X Cloud. I'm still gonna call it because right now it's just Game Pass streaming, but uh, essentially, it's running on Microsoft's servers. They, they basically have a bunch of Xbox One S's crammed into server racks, and I'm just playing natively on Xbox hardware, and it's being streamed to to my phone. And it's, it's pretty smooth. I am literally two feet away from my router, um, and it's a AC 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and even now you're seeing uh, th this this is the uh, the hitching this little symbol up here uh, is saying that it doesn't have a good connection I could disconnect and reconnect to Wi-Fi but then the game would have to reload and that's something I've noticed even in optimal Wi-Fi situations it's not perfect and and that's that's the kind of thing that that we'll realize here I'm gonna go back one step here uh, just got this oh look at that. I just got this new gaming chair and I'm still getting used to it. I did a ASMR style video about uh, me unboxing it. Oops, my, it was not even in the right location. Though. So in a, in a game like this that doesn't require super twitchy reflexes, the combat seems like it's, it's gonna be just fine. Um, if I were to, to comfortably play this game, I'm gonna like have my arms in at my sides and like be looking at the screen like a foot away because I'm an old man. Uh, the question is if this service works fine in a house with decent Wi-Fi with not a lot of people uh, bogging it down, of course I have like 500 megabit download speeds and my wife is uh, streaming I think Hulu right now and, and it's not affecting it but if your Wi-Fi is more congested with a lot of people on the network, if you're on like a coffee shop network, your mileage may vary and it might not be as good of an experience. And, and you notice, especially with first person shooters, that little bit of latency between when you move, bump, move, bump, move, push, move, input, receive, input, receive, input, receive, input, receive. That latency is going from my controller through Bluetooth to the phone, to the app, out to the internet, to their servers, and then all the way back my screen. Five years ago, this would have been impossible. They, they There was a, a game streaming service, I, I don't know what it was called, that I attempted using. It was just complete potato. We're talking like two seconds of, of latency. I think that in the right circumstances, it's, uh, it's a lot better. Pause the game here, and I'm gonna do screen capture instead, so you can see what it looks like through HDMI directly from the phone. So what you might see, it, uh, what you might notice here is it might look like I am like a live streamer and it's being compressed by Twitch, but it's not the uh, those compression artifacts you might see, and those are like the blocky, uh, blocky things that happen when there's a lot of motion or a lot of the same same color. I honestly strong attack. Uh, I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to do uh, Oh my god, you, you have magic in this game, I completely Lost forgot. Nerve. But, okay, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to run away because I don't feel confident fighting a bear. But, I mean, this, this is playable. And and you can see here, I mean, it, it, it might not look as good as, like, a game captured in 1440p or 4K. So, the best use case for this is obviously not sitting in front of my computer, but in a coffee shop, at a friend's house, anywhere where you have, I think, at least 10 megabits, I would recommend 15 to 20 uh, megabit download speed, and I'm guessing like 2 to 3 megabit upload. Uh, of course, different areas in the country, and it's not in every country, you're going to have different latency amounts, and that's going to affect it too. So how does the gaming experience compare to a game that's running natively on the device rather than from the cloud? Well. It's noticeable. 
Here is easily my, what the, what just happened? Oh no, I think my battery died, hold on. I really uh, would love to have a larger space to make videos. This tiny little office doesn't quite do my creative freedom justice. So make sure to subscribe to Induction Studio. Fit my knee! So I can eventually afford a bigger house and a, a bigger studio space and Okay, so comparatively, we have Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, and um, immediately, you can see, when I move the camera, it's a lot faster to respond, and when I attack, it's just like, the response is faster, and you immediately can see it. Um, the Witcher is still, is still playable, I feel like I was getting like sub 30 frames per second, this is a lot more stable, of course, it's one of the biggest games on the Switch, so it's very well optimized to run at a steady 30 frames a second, and of course it's running natively on the Switch, not streaming from the cloud. I'll probably do a vlog where I go out to different places, to a friend's house, to a coffee shop, and, and see how it performs in these different locations. It's really cool, it's it's opening a lot of doors for, for different gamers and, and uh, different lifestyles to, to play Xbox games. All you need is a smartphone and a Bluetooth enabled Xbox controller and there's also third-party ones that will technically work and this little bracket you can get for super cheap as well Another one of the downsides is how small the screen is. I tried playing the beta on my 8-inch tablet um, This thing's not a very high spec one. So it was really glitchy and unplayable. Maybe it's maybe the full version Works smoother. I'll test it out and let you guys know but tinfoil hat I have a request. What if Microsoft and Nintendo got along well enough to put this app on the Nintendo Switch to be able to stream Halo 5 Guardians, Forza Horizons, uh, the Gears of War Grounded, and, and the next Halo game on the Nintendo Switch? What does Nintendo have to gain from it? I mean, more Xbox gamers? So I think a lot of Xbox gamers are also Nintendo gamers. Let me know in the comments section if that's true. Uh, or I think just a lot of people who've been gaming for a while just love Nintendo because it was the first systems they've had. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you have a great day, a great night, a great life. Subscribe and stay safe.